Hello everyone, myself Ritesh. I have five years of experience into data engineering and data analytics field. My key skills or key expertise are uh, Power BI for reporting purpose, uh, the database that is SQL. And uh, I have also have expertise into Azure Cloud, which includes uh, ETL that is Azure Data Factory, ADLS, Logic Apps and Databricks. I've been working for multiple MNCs since last five years. I've worked for retail, I've worked for automobile, and I've also worked for cloud and technological domains. Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about Azure Data Explorer. What is Azure Data Explorer? It is also called as Kosho. In simple term, it's ADX, Azure Data Explorer. So what exactly Azure Data Explorer is? Azure Data Explorer is a fully managed big data analytics cloud platform and data exploration service, specially designed by Microsoft that ingests structured, semi-structured, as well as unstructured data. So it was initially released in the year 2018 by Microsoft. It's a part of Microsoft Azure Cloud Suite. So basically Azure Data Explorer, it is somewhat similar to SQL only, but far more better than SQL. We have to analyze how the data is in SQL. I mean, we need to write a complete set of queries the query length in SQL is also comparatively way more in as compared to Kusto. And Kusto, if you want a basic difference, a query in Java would look more lengthy as compared to in Python. That query, similar query of Java in Python can be written within few functions or few lines. So similar is the SQL and Kusto difference. So it's an upgraded version of SQL. Uh, specially designed for big data analytics. It specially supports time series analysis. So with a great use or with a great ease of time series analysis, the Kusto is far more better as compared to SQL. There isn't a basic difference that SQL would be uh, overlapped or SQL would be downgraded with the introduction of Kusto because Kusto is purely dependent on data. So you need to understand SQL first. Once you know the concepts of SQL, the similar concepts can be implemented in Kusto. So how exactly Data Explorer works? Uh, Azure Data Explorer, aka ADX. It's a fast, highly scalable, fully managed data analytics service. So the Data Exploration service enables you to pull, store, and analyze your data. You can also diversify your data. You can query terabytes of data within few seconds. Uh, if you query terabytes of data in Qu SQL or any 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 SQL tool, maybe a SQL Server, maybe Oracle, or maybe any SQL related components. So it would take a few more minutes or at times it takes hours also. But whereas in Kusto, uh, usually the query, whenever you query terabytes or petabytes of data, it within few seconds, you get the output. So previously it was known or even today it is also known as Kusto. Uh, in short form, it is ADX Azure Data Explorer. So this tool uses similar concept like SQL, SQL query language only. So Kusto is also called as Kusto query language. So it is an upgraded version of SQL for analyzing fast flowing data from Internet of Thing devices, that is IoT devices, applications, websites, etc. So Kusto is not only limited to using functions and hundreds of operators or maybe such as aggregation filtering, etc. But it also includes built in machine learning features like you can use concepts like clustering regression also in Kusto. You can also analyze or you can also also report the data in Kusto. You can, um, and I mean, you can report uh, concepts such as time series analysis, how the data flows uh, in a period of time, in period of uh, maybe if you are trying to analyze data for last three years, with the help of Kusto query also, you can report that data. I mean, you can show in terms of table and you can show in terms of line trend analysis. So ADX, the Azure Data Explorer, works on the principle of isolation between compute and storage. It uses a volatile SSD storage as a cache and a persistent storage like Azure Blob Storage. So you, you combine both together, a cache as well as Azure Blob Storage. It's a fully managed platform as a service, platform as a service offered by Microsoft Azure, which primarily focuses on data and query. To name one of the very key benefit, as I said, it supports time series analysis with great use and it has a huge number of functions available which you can use to analyze, identify trends and very low latency. 
as compared to SQL, it has very low latency. So it's an upgraded version of SQL. Yeah, SQL isn't downgraded. You should know SQL, then only you can learn Gusto. It is far more easier than SQL, but once the concepts of SQL are clear, then you can implement same concepts in Gusto as well. So how does Azure Data Explorer work? Ideally, Azure Data Explorer uh, starts from a creation of cluster. So cluster is the important thing. Under every cluster, there are multiple databases, and under multiple databases, there are multiple functions, there are multiple tables, there are multiple table-like structures as well as functions created in it. So every table holds a data function. I mean, where you can write a function with where you can pull in the data from multiple tables and you can store it. So the first level of hierarchy is cluster. Under cluster, you have multiple databases. Under databases, you have multiple tables, tables or functions. So you need to query the tables or functions in that particular database, which belongs to a certain cluster. So going further, what are the basic advantages and disadvantages? So as uh, as the name suggests, as I've already said, it's an upgraded version of SQL. It's a big data analytics tool. So it is fully managed service. So we not, need not uh, to worry about infrastructure. Uh, it makes development way more easier. It is highly scalable. Uh, it has very low latency very simple to push data you can push uh, you can push data from any data source you can dump data from any data source you can also dump data uh, using sql source uh, using sql files using excel files using csv files you can also dump data from any of the unstructured database this may be no sql databases also optimized it is optimized for time series analysis as your data explorer it is heavily used by microsoft for many number of years maybe it was introduced introduced in 2018 and an upgraded version was introduced in 2019 but internally microsoft was using for a long number of years and azure data explorer is available in almost every azure region uh, nowadays so these are the basic advantages uh, the basic disadvantages uh, in terms of pricing it is way more costlier than um, any of these sql databases so whenever you create a cluster whenever you create cluster and databases multiple databases in it and you try ingesting data into any of the tables you create multiple uh, functions there you, so you can also dump data from any of the external csv files or any file sources so comparatively pricer would be higher because it has used data, big data analytics analyzing uh, it it uses the time series logs also so the pricing is way more uh, costlier than sql so if you have large amount of data then you may you may use this Gusto query language. Uh, if you have a, a restricted data, maybe a small amount of data, you can use uh, any other uh, SQL related data sources. So the basic disadvantage is high pricing. The uh, You cannot update or edit data in Gusto. So it's uh, similar like big data analytics. In big data also, you cannot update or you cannot edit data on frequent basis either you have to take a backup of existing table and delete the table and go on adding the records which you want to uh, which you want to change and you can change that records and you can again dump that record so there isn't any uh, option to update or edit in custo as it's a big data analytics tool so we need to take a backup and delete uh, so this is one of the basic disadvantage. Azure Data Explorer, uh, it is used internally by Microsoft only nowadays. Yeah, they have opened the forum for uh, external users also. They have a community support also, but uh, it is way more restricted to Microsoft. So you might find some difficulties to get any questions related or any uh, answers related to your queries related to Custo. So you, you need to join a certain community then and then only you if you ask any related questions or infrastructure related questions or any query related, any function related questions, then only uh, people from that community need to answer. Uh, then only you would get a basic understanding. So there aren't any uh, uh, data or there aren't any courses available for Kusro uh, externally apart from Microsoft. So how and what does the basic uh, query different uh, basic query differ from SQL. 
uh, and uh, how a custo is important we'll see about it so let's suppose consider we have a query uh, in sql which is select star from a table name let's suppose the table name is uh, something students table and you want to see all the records or all the columns present in the students table so we use select star from students whereas in case of custo we don't need to write select star from table name only table name and once you uh, enter that table name and you run the query you would get all the records all the dependent records and columns present in that table so you only you have to write a table name and run the query similarly if you want to uh, fetch top 100 records or top 1000 records so we need to write select top 100 star from the student table in case of custo we don't need to write all this stuff only table name and in custo there is a concept called as pipe so whenever you want to differentiate a query we need to write a pipe so here if you want to search top 100 records the table name as i said only table name would give you all the records we need to enter a pipe there take 100 so take 100 would give you top 100 records from that particular table so table uh, the delimiter it would act as a pipe take 100 certainly if you want to search any non null functions or null evaluation there so in case of sql you would write select star from table that is student's table where student id is not null so usually student id we want to find where student id is not null in case of custo uh, you may analyze only table pipe where is not null is available function there is not null and column name so in brackets you have to enter the column name there so it is for far more easier as compared to sql but yeah you need to understand sql concept first then only you would be easily able to understand custo concepts whereas if you want to find where we using a where clause in sql let's suppose we are uh, trying to get a data for a particular student only whose name is something a b c in students table so how do we write in sql select star from dependencies where student name or select star from student where student name is so and so abc in case of gusto it is rather far more simple um, the table name that is student pipe where student name equal to his name that's it so you may compare it with java and python difference java you need to write a long query and in python you can short i mean the sh query is way more shorter than java similarly uh, in sql the query is far more lengthy whereas in custo it is far comp i mean comp i mean compressed together and it's comparatively way more easy if you want to uh, print something um, you need to print in custo i mean you need to print in sql uh, you need to select you need to imprint there whereas in case of uh, custo um, table name pipe project so project would give you all the columns available there so you can print whatever columns you want you can write that column names and you can print that columns whereas in case of compare uh, union select star from student and you want to union it with student details so union student details table whereas in case of custo you only have to write union table one comma table two so that that's how it's far more easier than uh, sql if you want to create a join in sql um, it would be select star from a student's table and you want to join it with his personal details so student information uh, so it would be select star from student left auto join student information where we are creating a join on student id in case of sql whereas in case of custo uh, it is far more easier you have to write student table pipe the concept is join kind equal to whatever kind of join we are using maybe left outer join on so you have to write left outer join um, on left dot whatever column you want to join from left equal to right dot whatever column you want to join from right so usually table name one pipe join kind left outer table name two on 
on would give you left towards left which column you want left dot column one equal to right dot column whatever column you want to join upon so it is uh, this is how the join query would work if you want to uh, write an alias there uh, in case of sql you write select star from particular table as alias i mean if you are writing as an alias whereas in case of custo it would be table name uh, pipe so you are extending in case of extend you can write an extend or you can write project also project would give you whatever columns you have in case of project uh, you can use project there if you want to project something but with a different column name or alias name project whatever column you want as an alias equal to the column present in the table or else if you want to add or extend the column you can use extend whatever column you name you want equal to the column present in the custo table so it is far more easier um, easy to understand a very simplified language but as i said there are also few drawbacks where you cannot delete uh, sorry where you cannot update the data where you cannot alter the data in case of alter in case of changes any any changes you want um, either you have to take a backup and you have to dump the data the only uh, click is whatever changes you need you need to make that change and redump that data again in custo or, uh, or the table which you have already deleted so these are the basic differences going further we would also uh, learn how uh, whatever what all functions are there how to write a query first we'll try to analyze i mean we'll first we'll create a small cluster we'll create a database and we'll query certain um, easy queries in custo and then we will uh, try to learn all the options available in custo all functions available in custo how join works how union works uh, i mean how can you write how can you project or extend the data uh, going further we would be also learning these concepts thank you